one of the things I love to work on, especially if I have time to work with a player. So if you're at home or you have ice by yourself or if you're a coach and you want to get your stick handling level of guys um, to get a lot better, then you're going to want to spend some time doing some one hand, top hand control. And what the top hand control does is it obviously gives you uh, an understanding of your reach, but it also will almost force you to use your legs. So you got to make a mind muscle connection there a little bit, but the, but the two work hand in hand. So the importance of the top hand control is this controls your whole stick. That's your pulls, that's your pushes, and that's where your power comes from. Your bottom hand is kind of like just a guide on your stick. So when you're, so, so the bottom line is when we're doing a, something like a pull in or we're shooting a puck, our hands are going to be close right, all our weight on one side. When we shoot a puck or pull a puck in, that hand's gotta drop down. The biggest thing though, is when we do pull-ins or expanding our reach on stick handling with, with players, for the most part, people have their bottom hand stuck. And, it, and, and when, it, when, when it's, they're not stuck, but it, they, they leave it in the same position all the time. So when they're doing drags or they try to pull a puck in, they actually are incorporating their bottom hand too much and they don't rely on their upper upper uh, their top hand as much as they should so in order to create good habits in using your top hand control you'll see this in our series of the stick handling and there's a whole section about half an hour long of full of drills and uh and, and the, the science behind the top hand control and why it's so important in order to get the reach you have to make sure that your top hand is doing all the work and incorporating your legs so for example as you're pulling as you can reach the puck all the way, let's say expand your reach across your body, which you have to make sure you're loading up on your, for me, I'm a left hand shot, I'll be on my left leg. So I'm keeping that puck on my toe, pulling it back in. All my power is coming from my top hand. All right, as you're coming from the middle, you're loaded up on your left leg, all coming back to the middle of your body. So your top hand is doing all the work in these scenarios. Your top hand is doing all the work in this scenario and you have a transfer of weight in your movements. Now without using your legs, you restrict how much range you're gonna have and how hard you can pull in. So I like to do a lot of repetitions when I'm working with someone and I have time to work with them because the repetitions will build a habit base for when they're pulling pucks. What that does is also transfer into when you're shooting. So what happens is, as you're moving that puck, your, your bottom half, your legs, start to get incorporated, which makes a, a huge difference in the results. Harder shots, more range on your pull-ins. So here's an example of a drill that you can do, and then I'm, I'm gonna show you to do it one-handed, and then how naturally it's gonna be for you to use your bottom hand. So here we go, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the puck, we're gonna take it from the side, and we're gonna move it to the middle, and back to the middle, out to the side using our top hand. So what I like to do is keep my one hand behind me so I, I have no choice but to use my top hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go push forward, bring it in, push it out, bring it in. And we're trying to create as much range as we possibly can using our top hand and using our legs. So after you do several reps like that, now you can incorporate your bottom hand and just keeping in mind that your bottom hand doesn't do a whole lot except for guide your stick. You're squeezing at the bottom of the movement and at the top of the movement. Top hand does all the work, incorporate your legs to get range. So here we go. It's out, it's in, see how my hands are down. Out, in, 